amazing show. This might be actually the best show I've done in 13 years. And it's Japan animation is the theme that I chose for hair. And um, so we have an amazing assortment of wigs and shapes and styles and to make everything very candy girl-like and very animated and like cartoon characters. And that way it, everyone looks out of a cartoon and, and the clothes are featured in a whole different way. I start preparing in December for the models. I start talking back and forth with the director on the ideas that I want to do for the models. I start shopping around for wigs and start gathering ideas and I start going through magazines and tearing out things and what's current and what's in style and what actually was coincidentally in hair in runway fashion in Milan and Paris and around the world is Japan animated hair. So I was right on the money this year, so that was great. We sat down with the models during rehearsals and we started designing hairstyles for each one individually for what what group and what segment they're in with all the clothes they wear. So everyone was very particularly chosen and designed. This is our, our list when we're backstage, so we know with the models. We have models that come out here that are waiting to go on the runway. I am the last person they see before they go out to make sure everything is smooth and everything looks clean. What we want this hair to do is almost make it look like it's fake, like a helmet. I bring a crew of five hairdressers. There's three of us main hairdressers and we have two assistants for the three of us. And it takes a crew of five to gather all the models and everyone works on different people and we all just work together and I outline everyone's job very specifically. We start work at one o'clock and we finish at five minutes to eight. So it'll take seven hours. Seven hours it'll take to completely get everyone ready. Well, my name is Jade Graham, and I'm the assistant director. So I fit the clothes, hang the clothes, take care of the clothes, and um, try to make them happy with what they're wearing. So I get to wear my s and belt as a skirt, and my top, a little rubber belt around it. It's very sexy. So um, Erica Henschel actually acquired the clothes from all the designers or stores, and then it came to me, and um, I got it on all the song with the songs and with the models. Well, the first line I'm in is called sexual healing, and it's kind of a group thing, and we're, you know, just uh, walking and doing all kinds of stuff, and it's uh, it's kind of fun. And then I do have my own line, which is kind of fun. I'm the only mail in with about, uh, oh, it must be about seven or eight females. And uh, I'm the, uh, the nerd in a pinstripe suit reading the Wall Street Journal. And um, I kind of get seduced, you know, walking down the stage and stuff, very slowly. I think I have about 35 models and each of them have from six to 10 outfits. They're from all over. There's some LA designers, some New York designers, and there's about a half a dozen local designers as well. Robin Pekala is a local designer. Sasha has um, kind of restored some of Robert Presley's original designs, so that's really creative and fun. Dan Hanley did some paper dresses this year. He always picks a material and kind of does something really funky and fun. A lot of feelers are put out, like for an entire year prior to this. And then you just you just never know who's going to respond and to what degree and how many pieces and what it's going to look like. So it's, it's kind of a big fun puzzle when it comes in and um, figuring out who's going to look good in it and what song and um, kind of look it's going to work with. And we have a lot of people backstage helping iron and organize and help them make quick changes. It takes a lot of people to get those clothes on and off the models and onto the runway. For an hour and 10 minute show, this backstage area is like an Indy 500. It has to be perfect, and it always is. It always is.